Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on total derivative. Suppose I am considering u is a function of x and y. That means x and y are independent variable. u depends on both x and y. And next we consider x equal to some phi of t and y equal to some psi of t. This phi and psi are just notation. Even you can take x is equal to g of t. And y is equal to h of t. So now u is a function of x and y, and x and y are the functions of t. So now let us see the diagrammatic representation. U is a function of x and y. So u depends on x as well as y. X and y depends on t. So now we have to find du by dt. Let us think like I can travel from u to x, then I can reach t. Similarly, on the other side, I can go u to y. And then t. So du by dt is equal to dou u by dou x because u is depending on x and y into dx by dt. On the other way, I can go this side dou u by dou y into dy by dt. Hope you understand. But when you see the left hand side. Simply, du by dt means ordinary derivative, differentiating u with respect to t. But on the right hand side, we understand from the figure u depends on x and y. X and y depends on t. So this du by dt is called as total derivative because it measures the total change happened in u because of t. Which happens through both x and y. So this du by dt is called as total derivative. Hope you got the point. So let us go into the problems. Find du by dt. But u is a function of x and y. X and y are the functions of t. So du by dt is nothing but my total derivative. First, let us write the formula du by dt, and then our task is to find dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y. On the other hand, we have to find dx by dt, dy by dt. First, let us write the given content. Given u equal to x square y, and then x and y. Now I need to find dou u by dou x. You know I like the tabulated way, so I am just going in a tabulated way in this session also. Dou u by dou x is 2xy. Dou u by dou y is x square. On the other hand, we have to find dx by dt, dy by dt. dx by dt is going to be 2t. dy by dt is simply same e power t because we know that e power x differentiation is e power x. Here u is a function of x and y. And x and y are the functions of t. That's why we are going for dx by dt, dy by dt. Let us fill the table. Once it is done, now we have to substitute the content in the formula. Substitute all the values which we found. If I write du by dt, my final answer should be in terms of t. But here this is not my final answer because it consists of x and y. We know that x equal to t square, y equal to e power t. Substitute here and simplifying further, we get 2 into 2, 4 t cube e power t plus e power t t power 4. We can take this e power t and t cube in common, so we get 4 plus t. This is my final solution. Therefore, the total derivative du by dt is equal to t cube into e power t into 4 plus t. Hope you understand, students. Next, in the similar way, will solve one more problem. Here u is a function of x and y. x and y are the functions of t. So du by dt is nothing but my total derivative. First let us write the formula and fill the information given in the question. u, x and y. So dou u by dou x is 3x square. Second term does not have x so it is 0. Similarly dou u by dou y is 3y square. Next dx by dt is equal to 2at because t square differentiation is 2t and dy by dt is going to be 2a. Now we fill the table. Next we have to substitute all the data in the formula. Let us write the formula and fill the data. But as I said earlier, du by dt means my answer should be in terms of t. We know that x equal to a t square, y equal to 2 a t. Substitute in the expression. So we get 
3 into AT square whole square 2AT. Then 3 into 2AT whole square into 2A. Simplifying further, we get 6A square into A, A cube, T power 4 into T, T power 5 plus 2 square is 4, then 4 into 2, 8, 8 threes are 24 A cube T square. Now take 6 A cube T square in common, we have T cube plus 4. This is my final solution. Similarly, one more simple problem we do in a very fast way. First, let us write the total derivative formula and fill u, x and y in the table. Then dou u by dou x is 2x y cube. Dou u by dou y is 3x square y square. Then dx by dt, we know differentiation of log is 1 by t. Then dy by dt is equal to e power t. After filling the table, we have to go to the substitution. As usual, x equal to log t, y equal to e power t, we have to substitute here because du by dt, my final answer in terms of t. Now, simplifying this, we get 2 by t, e power 3t because e power t whole cube is e power 3t. Then log t plus 3 into here e power t whole square into e power t. So I can write this as e power t whole cube that is e power 3t into log t whole square. If you take e power 3t log t by t in common, then we have to take this t LCM. So we get 2 plus 3 into t log t as my final solution. You can see the typed version. Now, you should not always think that u is a function of simply x and y, two variable. Sometime u may be a function of x, y and z, three variables. In this situation, how to find du by dt, where x, y, z are the functions of t. So, in this situation, we have dou u by dou x into dx by dt plus dou u by dou y into dy by dt plus dou u by dou z into dz by dt. So in question x, y, z, all contents are given. So let us solve this. First we have to find dou u by dou x, that is 2x. Similarly, dou u by dou y, it is going to be 2y dou u by dou z is 2z. Here dx by dt, e power t differentiation is e power t. Then dy by dt, since we have two functions that is e power t into sin t, we have to do uv rule. I will keep e power t and differentiation of sin t is cos t. Then I will keep sin t. Now differentiation of e power t is e power t. Similarly differentiate z with respect to t. Now we have to apply uv rule again. I keep e power t constant. Then cos t differentiation is minus sin t. So I put the minus in the beginning. So minus e power t into sin t. Now I will keep cos t as constant. Then e power t differentiation is simply e power t. So let us fill the table rewriting this term. Now we have to go to the formula and we have to substitute all the content. Bring the answer in terms of t because they are asking du by dt. Now we try to take something which is common. So 2x e power t. Now I will take this e power t common. So 2y e power t sin t plus cos t and here 2 is at e power t cos t minus sin t. Now we have to substitute the value of x, y, z. x is e power t, y is e power t sin t, z is e power t cos t. Now even I can take this e power t 2 in common. You can see the simplified version. Now substituting x, y, z and try to simplify this, we get 2 into e power 2t plus 2 e power t. Even I can take this e power t in common. Now when I multiply inside, I get sin square t plus sin t cos t. In this term, cos square t minus cos t sin t. So now this two get cancelled and we have sin square t plus cos square t. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So we get the simplified answer. Substituting 1, we get 2 e power 2t plus 2 e power 2t that is equal to 4 e power 2t. That is my final answer. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.